All right, let's take lessons on 4.9. The title is Using Base 10 Blocks to Model Division with Regrouping. Right down here, I wrote a key for us to use, um, and we'll be using this throughout the lesson. A square is going to represent 100. A straight little line like that is going to represent a 10. And a dot is going to represent a 1. All right, so make sure you have this at the top of your paper as like a key that you can use and understand what we're representing. All right, let's do some model problems. So we're going to be using base 10 blocks, right? And it's going to be very similar to 4.2, where we use our divisor and make those that amount of zeros or zeros circles to divide into. Okay, but instead of using counters today, we're going to use our symbols to represent the numbers. So let's say we, as a class, had 42 books on the book order from Scholastic, and they were being putting even groups to three kids. Okay, so all 42 of these books, we're going to make three even stacks and give them to three kids. So let's first use our base 10 model pictures to model our dividend, right? To figure out how many books each kid is going to get. So 42 books would be drawn like this. One, two, three, four, right? I'm actually going to skip line. We'll need some space. So one, two, three, four, 42. So that would mean two dots. There we go. Okay. So, since we have three kids, that's going to be our divisor. We need to make three circles. One, two, three. Those represent the three kids. So now we have to divide up the books into these three circles. So, let's start by giving out the tens. All right? Cross this guy out. He'll go here. Cross this guy out. He'll go here. Cross that ten out. He'll go here. Ooh, we have one ten left in three circles. So it really wouldn't be fair to give a, ten books to a kid if we couldn't give ten to the two other kids. So let's cross out this ten and turn it into ones so we can pass it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. There we go. Ten. Okay, so now let's keep passing out the ones into even groups. So let's cross out this guy, put him here. This guy, put him here. This guy, put him here. Looks like we have plenty to go. Let's keep going. Cross out this one, put it here. This one, put it here. This one, put it here. Okay, I'm now back to the beginning. I see I have more than my divisor. I have more than three to pass out, so I can keep going. Let's cross out this one. Put it here. There we go. Cross out that one. Put it here. Cross out this one. Put it here. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. Okay, I see I have three dots left. Phew, that's exactly the amount of kids I have. So let's pass out this one here this one here and this one here all right I have passed out all of my books so it looks like each kid is going to get well 10 11 12 13 14 so that means 42 divided by 3 is 14 that's what we just modeled let's try another one Let's say we have 92 stickers to give out. Two, four kids. Right? We want to know how many stickers each kid is going to get. So the problem we're going to model is 92 divided by four. 
So let's use our base 10 pictures to model 92. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 1, 2. Okay? There are four kids, that's our divisor, so we gotta make four, whoops, four circles. One, two, three, four. Get that back in the picture there. There we go. All right, so let's start passing them out. Let's pass out the tens. So cross it out, put one in here. 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 All right, I see I have at least four left, so I can keep going. Cross it out, put it in here. Cross it out, put it in the next circle. Cross it out, put it in the next circle. Cross it out, put it in the next circle. And back to the beginning. Oh, I only have one ten. It wouldn't be fair to give that first kid ten and not a ten to the rest of the kids. So once again, just like last time, we're going to break that ten and turn it into ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I have plenty of ones to pass out to the groups. Okay, so let's start right here. Cross that out, put it here. Cross that out, put it there. Cross this one out, put it here. Cross this one out, put it here. Back at the beginning, cross it out, put it there. Cross it out, put it there. Come on, there we go. Cross it out, put it there. Cross it out, put it there. Okay, I'm back at the beginning again. Ooh, I see I have perfectly four left, there we go. Cross it out, put it there. 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 So how many does each kid get? Well, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Each kid gets 23 stickers. Now, the longhand version of this that your parents might know look, would look like this, okay? It'd be the same, let's do the same division. 92 divided by four is 23. Well, let's do long division. So if you wrote the problem like this, 92 divided by four, okay? What we did, if you remember, well, how many times can four go into nine, right? How many times can these nine tens be divided up into four? Well, there were two tens put in each of the four groups in the beginning. Remember that? So really, we used eight of the tens and we had one ten left over. Then we made that ten into ones. So then we had twelve ones. So we thought, okay, let's put them into four separate groups. And we found out that three ones would be in each group. Three times four is 12. We used all 12 ones and we were left with nothing left. Let's look back. Do you see that we have two tens and three ones in each circle? And that was our quotient. And we did the same thing Long, the, with long division. Look back and let's make sure that we have two tens in each circle and three ones. Remember, we put these out and then we did it again. And that's when we had to break this 10 and change it into ones, right? We used eight of the tens. We had to break the 10, and then we had 12 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's how you do it the long way.
Okay, let's try one more with long division and then I'll let you go on your own for tonight. So let's do our first problem, right? We did 42 divided by three. You would think, okay, I have four tens. How many would each group get? Well, each group would only get one 10, right? So we'd be only using three tens. So let's subtract that. So we'd have one 10 left over. Well, it wouldn't be fair to pass it out because we have three kids, right? Our divisor's three. So we had to break that 10. And then we had 12 ones. Well, the 12 ones got split up evenly into three groups and there were four ones in each group. Four times three is 12. We used all 12 ones. Just like that. Okay, so for your practice problems, I need to see you draw our models, okay, using the base 10 shapes. I want you to solve it like this tonight. We'll work more on long division later. For now, I want you to be drawing like this, the base 10, putting them into the divisor circles. Okay, so let's write down our practice problems. All right, so your first problem is going to be 76 divided by 3. And your second problem is going to be 84 divided by 6. Okay, only two problems tonight, but we need to see the base 10 models. Okay, let's write that at the top too so you remember to use them. All right, have a great night.